Hey everyone, this is a State of Shed 2024 Money Edition, Spring 2024. Um, it is a fairly hot day. It is around like 83, 84 degrees. Let's check the temperature and information from the little Weather XM uh, thingamajoo. Let's refresh. 84.2 degrees Fahrenheit, feels like 87 degrees. 55% humidity. It's not the hottest day. The air conditioning is definitely running and the exhaust fans on the shed are running full tilt. It's been warmer, but it's a good warm day for this video. So before we go crazy with this, for people who have not seen my shed, I have eight octo miners down the bottom. I will open the shed in a minute, but I want to keep this set, uh, status of what it is right now, temperature wise, how it flow, air is flowing in and out before we open it. We'll open it up at the end of the video. But we have two giant passive intakes on the bottom, like 24 inch passive intakes. We have two AC Infinity fans, one on this side, one on the far side over there. These are rated for 2,500 CFMs each at full power. So there's 5,000 CFMs running through here. And that's why I picked such a small shed. Small shed means I can change out the air faster than say a bigger shed. A bigger shed would still work, but then I'd need four maybe six of these fans so the cost goes up and i really didn't need that much space anyway it's a lot easier to manage a smaller space than a larger space so with that being said on an 85 degree fahrenheit day let's take a look at a few temperatures inside first so this is hive os for my stuff that's in the shed right now i got two cpu miners like the epic 7v12 mining varus coin so if i click on that you can see the cpu on that running full tilt uh 60c that's it nothing no big deal in uh, in 85 degree fahrenheit weather uh ks0 and ks0 pro they're running perfectly fine these are not running aftermarket firmware right now they are running stock let's take a look at the ks0 pro that is running perfectly fine uh 42 for the first temperature 53 for the second temperature uh, let's take a look at Octo 3. That is my 30 series NVIDIA rig mining uh, Dynex right now. And the highest temperature is 59C, but the kicker is too. Look at the uh, fans on the Octo Miner. Normally running 49, 51%, 50% basically. So even if it got warmer and these cards started going over 60C, I had a program to start ramping those fans up. So this shed can easily handle a 100 degree Fahrenheit day. The big trick is in summertime, you don't mine power hungry algorithms. No Kapow, no Flux, nothing crazy like that. Dynex, Auto Lycos, K Heavy Hash, uh, stuff like that, that is more power efficient, works beautiful for summertime mining in a shed. Okay, so now I got the shed open. Please bear with me. This is a brand new camera for me. This is the Sony ZV-E10, and I'm still learning how to use it. With that being said, let's go over to the shed. All opened up now, all cleaned up. And basically this half of the side is mine. This half of the side, well, except for that. This half of the side, these four Octominers over on this side, these are hosted. These two are Yetis, and these two are 56s. Basically we're pulling roughly between both sides and everything, Maybe seven, seven and a half kilowatts through this whole shed right now. No problems cooling it. You can tell I put up some of that reflective bubble in the back and on the top to help reflect some of the sunlight from the daytime and try to keep the heat down a little bit. You can see the second fan over here on the side. Come on in here a little bit more. Yeah, there's fan two. There's fan one. I got my KS0 and my KS0 Pro. Go stick your finger in there. I never got around to putting the freaking cover on it. Here's my Epic 7V12. And right down here, that is one of those little mini PC AMDs. That's also mining Varus coin. That was the first one you saw at the top of Hive OS. Then I got my X12. That's got nothing but 6600 XTs in it. Um, Octo 2 right here, that is 6700 XTs, the 6800 and the 6950 XT. This is my 30 series rigs, rig, and this is Octo 4. This is all um, reference edition 6700 XTs that I originally bought from Proofman. They're right here, running away. And then 
One of these, I forget which one it is. I think this one, the R8 from Yeti, is all 3060 Ti's with one 3060 in there. This one is all 2080 Ti's. And then 56, oh, honestly, I can't remember what he's got in here. Uh, I think he's got mostly 3060 Ti's in one, and the other one is all 6600 XT's. Then up here, I'm also mining Varus coin on uh, my little Orange Pi Forest right here. Three of them are being powered by solar, plus the Duino coin miner, which is currently not running because Duino coin has issues, but that, it's only a one block. That's running off of solar. And then I got um, Mrs. Yeti's KS0 back here, running nice and happy as to be. Now for the battery on solar, you can see on the top there, it's a 100 amp hour GP battery, but it works perfectly fine. And you got the three solar panels, 300 watts total up there. Now, controlling the Weather XM is a little, ah, little unit right here. See it perfectly fine. Lights up here. Oh, come on, focus. Too, too close. There we go. Perfect. And this is the controller for the fans, but, uh, the screen on the controller has basically taken a dull, so I control it all through the app itself. I also came in here earlier in spring, instead of having all this stuff sitting up top over here originally, I now have a unified first gen 48 port switch up here for the whole Ethernet in this whole unit. Plus then I moved the 110 power, which is the fans, um, USB for these units when the uh, sun isn't running, and also USB for the Weather XM. So that's my 110 volt. I reused my two old uh, 2U vertical racks and kind of horizontally matched the uh, mounted them. Perfectly fine. It works. Cleans it up a little bit. I didn't have to spend any extra money for it. So that's basically my shed, spring 2024. Everything's running perfectly, even on a hot day. It can hit 100 degrees Fahrenheit. It will get a little warm in there, but everything would still be perfectly fine. No major temperature spikes or anything. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below, and I will catch you on the next video.